Russ and I covered uh, a little bit uh, the RFK sort of Israeli summit, if you will, on the uh, <laughs> West Side Highway um, <laughs> uh, last week. Um, but uh, we have some more footage that I want to show you from inside that hall. And uh, perhaps you may recognize a certain uh, voice in this. That oh. oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. When you run for president, we're gonna have you up here. But right now he is, so let him speak. Thank you very much. You gotta, you gotta, no, 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 no. He is running for president. You gotta, we will have questions at the end. We will. We're gonna have questions at the end, and if you're quiet now, I'll choose you first, okay? If you're silent now, I'll give you the first question. If you're not, You know, I asked, why is this night so different than all other nights? It turns out <laughs> I had jokes. no idea. Okay. He's got jokes. He's one of ours for sure. Who was that, you ask? Well, it may sound familiar. Here we got a picture of the certain audience member who got up and tried a little intervention of his own. But this was not like most of your interventions because you had a little flyer in your hand. And you had a flyer in your hand for a reason because you're going to be speaking at an anti-war rally on the east side of New York City, right near the United Nations on Sunday, August 6th. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, first, why you were there, um, how that intervention went, and the message you were trying to get across uh, to, to RFK. Yeah, uh, well, you know, you're right. It definitely was different than any of the other interventions I've done because I happen to like RFK Jr. I don't endorse him or support him. I like him, but... He's terrible on this Israeli stuff. I mean, you know, and then the and then having Rabbi Shmuley, who like if you go and watch that thing, the rabbi just wouldn't shut up, and the guy was just like <laughs> twenty minute intro. Of RFK yeah, no, Jr. huge intro okay. speech. Yeah, you know, it's an RFK Junior in event, but this rabbi just could not stop talking, and um, you know, I knew that uh, some of our friends from INN and others like Lucy and. Uh, um, others who intervened. Crab was there, right? They were there. I knew they were there. I knew I knew they had that covered. And in my mind, it's difficult because it's like, I like what he's saying around the anti-war stuff around Ukraine and what he did on June 20th, referencing his uncle's speech, talking about how, you know, we need to see ourselves in the enemy's shoes and how we try to paint the world as black and white, that there are bad guys and good guys. It's like, that's good, but this stuff is not. And so I was like, okay, well, is there a way I can kind of like break him out of the zone he's in? You know, if I can get a message across, because I, because I, I like I told you, there was there was one question he got where basically they asked him, "Are you doing all this because you're afraid of being called anti-Semitic?" And he looks at the guy, he's like, "No, that's not why." Yeah, and, to the very end, yeah. Yeah, right. So it's kind of ambiguous as to like, well, then why are you doing this? Right? Like, it could be a number of reasons. Anyway. Uh, so I stood up and um, I said, look, Mr. Kennedy, I support your message for, you know, anti-war. We're having this rally on August 6th. It's a Humanity for Peace rally. And which, by the way, um, we still do need funds for. Um, and so I've made it so that if anybody buys a AOC war poster, I'm out. I'm fresh out. Somebody bought like 20 to help support the rally. But if anybody buys one of our AOC war posters, they can help support the rally. All the proceeds will go right back to the, the rally. We still need like another $600 or so to make the concert. Yep. Yeah, yeah, well, that's that's the that's the humanity for peace. Yep. And uh, people can also go to the website there. It's happening at Hammersholt Plaza, 42nd Street and 2nd Ave. There's the address right there. Um and also, if people uh, feel generous enough, they can donate to my cash app, which is on my bio on the Twitter, and all the money will go right back to, to the concert. But we, what you see on the bottom of that poster is you see tons and tons of different inter international organizations, right? So some of them are domestic to the United States. A lot of them do a lot of international work, and they've all decided we're basically doing the Rage Against the War Machine idea of coalition building. And we've really gone like over the edge with it. And we've got like international speakers coming to this thing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah.
Yeah, that's going to be great. Um, that's at Dag Hammarskjöld Plaza on 47th Street and 2nd Avenue, right near the UN. It basically overlooks the UN. Uh, just a bit of trivia, that was the original lineup site for the original Women's March in 2017. So you might find some pink pussy hats on the floor left no. over from the original uh, <laughs> Women's March there. That was the big lineup over at Dag Hammarskjöld Plaza. Um, and they listed their demands here, the immediate ending of all funding and weapons to Ukraine, convene immediate unconditional peace talks, the dissolution of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, obviously, and a new international security architecture must be created to end the division of the world into blocks, eliminating geopolitics. This new architecture must take into account the security concerns of every sovereign nation, large or small. You're going to be speaking there. Is that correct? I sure am. And I will be shoulder to shoulder with like Scott Ritter, who's also speaking. Um, and uh, we have uh, some Republican presidential candidate who's also speaking, Aaron Day. We have uh, a Haitian presidential candidate, which is like, oh, oh wow, yeah, yeah, among other people, Gerald Salenti, um, and, and other people escape my. Uh, right, well, actually, I have the list here. Yeah, uh, right. Okay, so Aaron Day, that's the Republican candidate for president. Uh, Jude Ellie, Haitian presidential candidate. Um, <clears throat> we have the president and founder of the Guinean American League of Friends for Freedom speaking. We have Terry Strong. She's a reverend who will be also speaking. Um, Gerald Salenti, I already said. Mike Termat, um, and uh, more people. Just, you know, it's 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 great. And we're working on a, another big name who I can't spoil, but hopefully, if it works out, you'll hear about it soon. So beautiful. Well, I will be there in the audience. I'll be watching. I'll be filming you for the uh, doc that we have uh, coming up that we are putting together. So I'll be in the crowd cheering you on there, my friend. Please clap. Yeah.